Here we go. Okay, infidels, the day I've been waiting for for so long is finally here. Well, not, you know, today, today, but the uh, 12th there, June, finally, close quarters came out. I was waiting for this for so long, and it's finally here. And I love it, and I'm so happy, and I don't care if they compare it to Call of Duty. It's still Battlefield. Battlefield is still doing it. It's still a whole lot better than Call of Duty. There's none of the BS. And I'm so happy. I, I can't wait. This is what I like. All this close quarters stuff. I, I, I'm like a little... I'm like a pig and shit, I guess you would say. This... I, I am so happy. And here it is. The first, uh, the first map that I'm going to be showing you guys today. Operation 925. On Conquest Domination. Look at this map, dude. It is freaking beautiful. It's like a big office building, I guess. There's a cafeteria. There's a car garage. There's very open areas. There's very tight-knit areas. The colors are great. I mean, it, it is beautiful. It, oh, God. It is so destructible. Everything you shoot at, there's holes in it. Look at that wall. Look at that. Oh, God. So, the map pack is out. My opinion on it. I love it. I mean, I, I care for most of the most of the maps. There's one map I don't really care for because uh, it's kind of hard to see people in the dark. <laughs> that would be scrap metal. But other than that, I, I, I'm pretty happy with all the map packs and the guns. The guns. Oh God, I'm so happy with all the guns. I'm currently actually right now in that gameplay, trying to get the spaz because I I really like the shotguns and that's gonna be my gun. That and the uh, MP5K are probably my favorite weapons there. But uh, here, I'm working on the uh, trying to get the spaz. And I'm going in with the 870 and trying to get the pistol kills with the 93R. Because uh, that's my reliable quick pistol against pretty much anything you could use that pistol. But here we go. Conquest Domination. Takes a little long to get the uh, flag down to uh, neutral. But other than that, after that, flag immediately gets capped really quick. You're off to the next one. That would that's uh, A right there. I'm trying to go for B now. I'll give you a little layout of the map. Not that I've survived that A K. What is that? Oh yeah, the L eighty six. That's a pretty good gun. Has a nice high rate of fire. Uh, be prepared for people to use that a lot. It is very dependable, very steady. Uh, here's the B flag. Downstairs in a car garage. Uh, this is very dark. Please have your eyes open. <laughs> These guys will come out, especially if they have the uh, black Spec Ops uh, camouflage. They'll just come out of nowhere. So just have your eyes peeled down here. Look at that. Teamwork. Capping the flag. Going back for A. Uh, I think most of the action ends up happening happening at A. Uh, I don't know why, why that is. <sighs> Damn. You're in the video like a slacker. But crap, I was up till late yesterday. I was trying to get the maps as soon as I could. Up to late last night, still recording more crap. So here it is. Uh, that's why I'm yawning like a little girl. But look, the, the flags are captured so quick. This is pretty much going to be a game of cat and mouse. You running around to whatever flag they just captured and trying to get it back. Then you running back when they've captured the other flag. So just be prepared for a lot of cat and mouse stuff. It, it, it's not it's nothing like conquest where you know there, there'll be people defending the flag and things like that this is all very much very quick and it a lot of people might not like it I I've already seen that a lot of people were saying oh this uh, close quarters is very Call of Duty like all the battlefield hardcore fans are saying that but you know what it's it's not there's no BS the same guns, nothing's ridiculously overpowered, the same guns you're already used to. And look at all the destruction, everything just looks nicer. I mean, there's, there's no, there's absolutely no reason that hardcore Battlefield fans should be, you know, saddened by this or think that it's taking a turn for the worst. There's getting no Call of Duty like. Because look, Armored Kill's coming out in like what, September is it? 
It's like the biggest maps they've ever had. So, if anything, just take the great guns away from this. God, that spaz is so great. The MP5K is great. The the M417 is a great gun. The freaking the AUG, oh, such a great gun. Just so, just take your guns from the from the close quarters. If you don't like the close quarters maps, and just take it to all the other maps. They're so great. So it should be a good transition. And oh God, I just so I'm just so happy. With, just look at this level. I actually feel that they should have been a bit. You know, like, I don't really like the uh, 16 player max on this. I think they could have got away with full. I mean, this is console, so that's 24 players. They could have gotten away with that. I think 12 on 12 on these maps because there's a lot of a lot of times where I'm running around and it'll take me a little while to find someone, but. They really could have gotten away with more people. I, I think they, they should have had more people on these maps. But then again, it may may not have been close quarters. Or maybe this is what they were going for. But I don't know. They should have had more people here, in my opinion. It would have been a whole lot more closer, more intense. It would have been a lot more people running around. It, it would have been good. But there you go. Going back for a flag. It's this is where all the action is gonna happen. Apparently they like a flag because you can come down from the uh, the little stairs right here on the left, and the stairs go up to a little balcony up on top. And there's a lot of places for these people to hide out, like right there, in that little room. Please be aware of that room. They like to hide in there. It's very hard to see. They have the spec ops camo, and they can usually capture from there, and they can see across where you can usually go hide in that little, like, bar area to, to capture the flag. So be aware of that. That's a nice little spot for them to hide. Also, in between those little couches down there, they like to hide in there. It's pretty hard to uh, see them. But, oh, look at this kid trying to small. But, I am so happy with the map packs. I am very happy. This is probably one of my favorite uh, levels. This, I think, this and Zeba are pretty good. The, I was expecting the Onion Fortress to be a little better. Uh, it's okay, but this is this this and uh, Zebra Tower are my uh, two good favorite maps out of the uh, the the Coast Coders map packs. And uh, Scrap Metal, uh, it's good. The layout is good, but it's hard to see people sometimes. The, the uh, darkness inside those little factories is pretty bad. So you're going to have to really have your eyes peeled in there. Uh, here, going for C flag. I guess I'm kind of showing you a quick way to get from A to C. It would be this right corridor. It goes all the way over. Uh, very hidden. Haven't really found many people in here um, with all the times I've gone through there. And it's a straight shot. You get behind here and just try to cap it. Uh, something I'm going to make you guys aware of right now, uh, one of the assignments to get, I believe, is the uh, LSAT, I think. Is it the LSAT? Or, yeah, it's the LSAT, which is the uh, second support gun, is to get 10 kills with C4s. And what I've seen happen is people are laying down C4 all around these flags, and as soon as they see people capturing, blowing them. So my suggestion is, before you go and try to capture a flag, please pay attention and uh, this, I'm on Xbox or on PlayStation. Hit the uh, select or start, you know, the button on to to the left of the center of the controller, and see if there's any uh, C4s placed on there. It could save your life. Throw a grenade out there or do something, but uh, don't get caught by that. That'll be my uh, tip for the day, and that that's it today. Uh, just this great map. I am so happy for close quarters. I can't wait to show you guys what the Spaz can do and all the other weapons and the rest of the maps, but uh, this is good. I like it. And Gun Game, or my bad, sorry, Gun Master. I will have footage of that. I will have some recordings of that, and I'm very happy with that too. I really wish it would have been uh, one kill to advance to the next level, but whatever. They had to switch it up. Still a good game mode. Still something you could go on there and be competitive with your friends on and uh, see what you can do. And uh, you, you should be something enjoyable. It should be something very enjoyable. Alright guys, well this has been it for today. Enjoy. I hope you learned something. Go get close quarters. Later.